Time to round up a hot topic from the week. Texas is quickly running out of money to fund health care for retired teachers. The fund is expected to empty out in the 2016 fiscal year. It's largely due to soaring health care costs and lawmakers approach to funding the retirement system. Unless money is added, there's only a couple of options left. Hiking premiums for retirees and their dependents or cutting the benefits altogether. That's our topic this half hour, and we want to hear from you. You can weigh in on our Fox 26 Facebook page or on Twitter. Be sure to use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in our newsroom is our roundup panel led by our Fox 26 senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico. Chris, you don't want to mess with teachers. I imagine uh, they are banding together to fight this. Oh, they sure are. And look, th let's back up. This problem started about 30 years ago. In 1986, the legislature first gave health insurance benefits to retired teachers. They passed a law and funded it what they said would last till 1995. And during that time, the legislature was supposed to come up with a more sustainable way to pay for health insurance for retired teachers. They never did that. And because they never did that, they've had the, the Texas teacher retirement system has had to come back time and time again to ask for an infusion of cash. They're doing that now, and it has to be done this session. And this is no small infusion of cash, Sally. It's $768 million that they need before 2017 to sustain this system. At the same time, the legislature has consistently said to TRS, do not cut benefits and do not raise the fees. So the only way they're going to fix this problem is give more money to the Texas teacher retirement system. Let me introduce our panel, Jerry Bernberg, former Harris County Democratic Republican Par <laughs> Democratic Party chairman. Golly, this is what I get for doing fundraisers, Jerry <laughs> fundraisers on Saturday nights. Jackie Bally, our uh, public policy analyst. Jackie, we'll start with you. You know, 30 years ago, the legislature said we're going to have a temporary funding scheme and then we'll fix it and find a way to do it. They never got around to it. Now it's going to cost us almost a trillion dollars, almost well, a billion dollars. They're going to have to fix it now. $768 million due to the rising health care costs. And uh, our senators, uh, Joan Huffman's one of them, and, and other senators on the budget committee have said they don't want to transfer this to the retirees. They don't think it's fair. And so they're going to have to find $768 million to transfer. Uh, you know, but you, that's not you a could fix. try to. That's not a fix, though, is it? It will be for this year. Right. right. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's what they're looking at, and those are the kind of t quick fixes. That's what got us in this mess in the first place. So that's what they're really looking at, and that's what they're going to do. I mean, we can't keep, we can, but it, it doesn't make fiscal sense to keep injecting a billion dollars every two years to keep this fund working. Why don't we just, the legislature, sit down and find a better way? I got a better way. How about this? How about the legislature says that all retired teachers are eligible for Medicaid and then agrees to Medicaid expansion, taking the money from the federal government that the federal government has said they're willing to pay for that. Well, that would run out in three years, though. Well, I'm, no, it wouldn't run out at all, but <laughs> uh, it, the, after that, we'd have to pay 10 cents on the dollar. Look, teachers right now are paying 36 percent of their premiums. Uh, the question really is, is Texas going to going to welch on our deal with our teachers or not. I mean, the teachers are already getting the short end of the stick every which way you turn. And to say now they're also going to get it with regard to health care as they are retired and are living on fixed income and don't have the ability to pay uh, any more for rising health care costs. That's just unconscionable. All right, let me go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. Okay, let's take a look at Twitter first. The first tweet coming up is from <laughs> one of our state senators. She says, uh, today we heard from these retired teachers to attract the best to our schools. We have have to ensure good retirement benefits for our educators. That was Senator Jane Nelson. And this is the uh, Texas Retired Teachers Association. Uh, they're responding with vigor to these attacks against the defined benefit plans. Basically, in a, in a press release they sent out, they said that uh, the plan is a great bargain for the taxpayers of Texas and provides a modest but reliable retirement for our public school teachers. Well, I don't think anybody's attacking the plan. They're attacking the funding scheme and, and suggesting that the legislature ought to do the job they were elected to do, and that's come up with a better plan. Uh, and, and I, so I don't, I don't think anybody's attacking that plan at all. Um, is this just, I'm going to ask both of you this question, is this just really the beginning of a very big problem uh, in, in retirement benefits for the state of Texas, just like the Detroit model? We're almost out of time, but both of you respond to that. Yes. 
Yes. Well, you can get more than that. <laughs> no, 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 yes, it is. And, it is. and at local government levels as well. It's pensions which are driving the fiscal problems, uh, the pension obligations which are driving the fiscal obligation, uh, uh, the problems in the city of Houston. But look, once you make a deal, you need to live with it. That's the, the Texas way. The we one thing I will say is that the pension fund for the teachers, out in comparison to other uh, public better, services, right. is much better. 130 billion in there. Right. They had a 17 percent return. So at least I mean, that that part of it is good. But this is a problem that we're going to see not just with teachers, but a lot of Everything. our baby boomers as they're heading into retirement. And this is going to be a problem that our legislators are going to have to deal with every session. And, and, and so it, it would seem to me, and we're almost out of time, it would seem to me that we ought to start right now coming up with ways that we're going to fund all of these things. No, we should have started 20 years ago. Right, but, but at least we ought to start right now, and we're not. And it, isn't that really an issue? Well, based on the comments we're hearing from some of our budget committee members, they do realize that. And it sounds like they want to come up with ways to tackle it, not just for now, but for the future as well.